Hey, what's good guys? It's Zach. Hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to another episode of What's on My Android Phone. In this video, we are taking a look at what's on my Pixel 2 XL. Those of you that are following me over on Twitter and of course Instagram know that I posted this setup a couple times and you guys really liked the look of it. And if we can get this video to, let's say, 1500 likes. Yes, if you guys can get this video to 1500 likes, I will get to work on the setup tutorial for this setup so that you guys can get a full step-by-step -step list of how I actually got this setup to look the way it does right now so make sure you hit that like button to see that video now I have been using my Galaxy Note 8 as my daily driver for the past two and a half months or so straight but I will be making it back to my Pixel 2 XL as my daily for a little bit I do really miss using this phone but uh, yeah let's go ahead and take a look at what I've got on my Pixel 2 XL. All right, so the first thing on my Pixel 2 XL is a red dragon skin from Dbrand. You guys know how big of a fan I am of the dragon skins from Dbrand. And of course, uh, just a little while ago, they came out with the red dragon and I absolutely love it. It looks great on the 2 XL. Link for this down below in the description, but yeah, it matches this phone oh so very well. And I might switch back over to the black dragon because that looks super stealthy. But right now, of course, as you guys know, my favorite color is red. So I'm going to be sticking with this one for a good amount of time. Again, link for this down below in the description. All right. So as always, I am using Nova Launcher with a grid size of nine by five. This wallpaper came from the wall on application. I have talked about that a good amount of times here on the channel. And I went ahead and I left a link to this wallpaper down below in the description if you are interested. Uh, now the widgets here, the one up top here, bottom right, bottom left, and the bottom middle, those are all from KWGT. It's a skin pack called Minimo 2. And uh, we'll take a look at that one in a little bit. The icons here are actually from the Candy Cons icon pack. It's a personal favorite of mine. And uh, yeah, so this is what I've got going on here. Again, stay tuned for that setup tutorial video. Make sure you get this video up to 1500 likes so you guys can see how I got this all set up. So taking a look over here, I do have the Google Now page. I use this pretty much every day. Really handy to have. And uh, of course, these are from Minimo from KWGT. So this one up here, it's got this really cool element over there. It's not originally like that. I did edit that quite a bit. So I've got the time and I've got the date. And then I've also got a little bit of weather there, which is really nice and handy to have. And I think it looks really good, especially with the setup. Now, speaking of the setup, one of the things that I really like about this setup is that it works well with a lot of different wallpapers. Some of the setups that I've made in the past didn't play too well with each and every wallpaper that I tried with it. However, with this one, pretty much every wallpaper that I have tried with it, it works well. So I'm going to go ahead and hop into this gallery application real quick. And this one is called Camera Roll, by the way. I'm, tr I'm just testing it out. Uh, so here are some screenshots that I took with some different wallpapers that I applied. Of course, this is the one I'm using now. The one that you saw first was actually the first wallpaper that I uh, made this setup with. And I think it looks really, really nice. I like that one. Here's a third one. It looks good with this one. I think this is one of the more like this one is almost perfect for this setup. And then you have this one here. Got this wallpaper from somebody on Twitter. I forgot the name of the person, but if you guys could uh, remind me, that would be great. But yeah, this setup works well with a lot of different wallpapers. So yeah, these are all from Wall On, by the way, besides that last one. So, so on the bottom right, I do have a search uh, icon that I actually made of myself in KWGT. This one, of course, just brings me to Google search. Then I have battery percentage at the bottom left. And in the middle, I have my name just to add a little personality to the setup. It doesn't really do anything. And then right above my name, I have these three dots. Again, these are from Candy Cons. The first one over here, when I tap on it, it will open up Twitter. And uh, yeah, so there we go using Twitter all the time. If I swipe up on the icon, it'll open up my social media folder. It's actually missing an icon, but yeah, there it is right there. Of course, Twitter, Facebook Messenger, Facebook, Slack, Skype, Snapchat, which I need to post to more often, Layout and Instagram. So those are the applications I'm using pretty much every day. Uh, Skype, not so much. Uh, moving on to the middle icon. This one is actually YouTube Creator Studio when I tap on it. And then when I swipe up, it is YouTube which is really, really handy. Of course, I'm on YouTube quite a bit. The reason why this one's not red is because it will just kind of clash with this setup. So I just made it gray. So there you go. And then this one right here just opens up Inbox, which is my mail application of choice. So as you can probably tell, this is one of my more simplistic setups, not too much going on here. Now I'm going to go ahead and swipe over to the next screen and you guys already know what's coming, right? Month calendar widget. You probably already said it right when I said it, right? I really have not found a replacement for this yet. Not that I'm really looking for something, but I kind of just want something fresh. There's nothing wrong with this application. I love the way it works. It works for me and it, it just looks really nice. Of course, all the themes are cool too. 
uh, but yeah, I, I haven't really found a replacement for it. So if you guys could let me know of one, I mean, I've tried a lot of different calendar applications, but this is the one that I've always come back to. So. Uh, anyway, <laughs> now on this screen, as you can tell, I do have colored dots. I did make an exception for this particular home screen. Uh, so from left to right, I do have the Google Play Store. There you go, just of course where you get applications. Uh, right here, I do have ESPN Fantasy for my fantasy basketball team. I am 14 and 0, still undefeated. Um, but uh, yeah, I gotta make some uh, changes here, of course. I'll do that in a little bit. Then I have Amazon right there. This one opens up Google Keep, and then if I swipe up, it'll actually open up my Google folder with all of my Google applications. Super handy to have. I love the, th the fact that you can do this kind of stuff in Nova Launch. And then over here, I have Spotify. So there you go, that's that. And that's really it from the, for the home screen. I'll go ahead and take a look at the app drawer, which actually does not have an icon pack right now. These are just the stock application icons. I'm cool with this. And I'll go ahead and run through some of the different things that I have here that I haven't really shown off in previous videos. So over here in the customized folder, you guys are pretty familiar with this one. Now in this folder, you guys have seen this one before. I do have KLCK which is a new lock screen application uh, by the same people that make uh, KWGT. So if I were to enable this, uh, it's gonna be kind of buggy right now. I will make a video on this. Uh, you will see this in future videos for sure, but it is just a lock screen application. You can get different skins for it. You can customize it just like you can with KWGT and it is awesome. So if I were to take a look at some of the presets that I have here, I'll go ahead and share this with you guys. So let's try this one for example, liquify for KLCK. These are a whole bunch of different presets for the lock screen that you can set. Pretty cool stuff. And then there's this one here, Enovix. I guess that's how you say it. This one's more colorful, more vibrant. And then you have the base pack with just the two stock presets right there. But it's really cool. It works well. And I can't wait to see, you know, the future updates and enhancements and stuff like that. So definitely try this one out. Here's Minimo 2 for KWGT. And this is the main pack that I'm using for. Uh, my home screen widgets of course as you saw the main one up top and then the three on the bottom this is actually what the top one normally looks like if i can find it i think it's over here somewhere there we go that's what that top one normally looks like as you can see it's colored there's actually an element right there at the bottom so that one is definitely pretty heavily edited so there's that again make sure you get this video to 1500 likes so you can see how i made this setup step by step in the games folder i have a new game that i'm trying out called hoop basketball it's kind of fun it's just basic timing base where you just long press on the home on, on the home screen <laughs> you long press on the screen to you know time the shot for the basketball i guess i'll show that off in a future video pretty cool here's the tools folder i do have google's files go application very useful application right there lifex for my light bulbs there's the panasonic image app i am testing out the g H5, so I use that sometimes. There's the Wise application for the Wise Cam, which is a $30 uh, kind of security smart home camera. I do have a review video on that one, and I went ahead and I linked it down below in the description. It is super cool, and it's only $30. You guys gotta try it out. And then here's my Walls folder. Now, my last video was Top 3 Wallpaper Apps version 5. I made that video on the Note 8, and I featured this application right here. It's called Wall Loop, and it is really cool, actually. If you guys remember earlier in the beginning of this video I actually had this I was testing out a wallpaper from wall loop and this is one of them it is just basically a gif and it is in here I believe AMOLED live wallpapers looks great on these screens and um, let's do hmm. let's see here let's try this one for example loading look at that that looks pretty cool I like that and it's gonna pop back out come back in yeah it's pretty cool and you can set these as your home screen super easily and of course there are a lot a lot of different categories you can choose from there's abstract and 3d cool stuff there aerial view which is one of my favorite categories and then you have other live wallpapers as well in fact they yes they have added some new ones ever since I made that video with this application features. So you're gonna wanna check out this wallpaper application. It's really cool, I like it. And uh, some people that saw the video, the previous video, really like it as well. So if you haven't tried it out already, make sure you do that right now, or just wait until the video's done. But other than that, I do have the other wallpaper applications that I use. And since I've been using the Note 8 as my daily driver, I do have more 
on this phone as you can see right there i do have more wallpaper applications and then other than that just basic applications that you can see right there one more time if you guys can get this video to 1500 likes i will work on the uh setup tutorial video for this setup to get a step-by-step -step tutorial on how i set this up so that pretty much does it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did feel free to hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already that does it for me i will talk to you guys in the very next video and thank you so much for watching